What is up guys? Welcome back for a brand new round of Overuse Me. This time we're going to be looking at potentially one of two Pokemon and that's what you guys see on your screen here. We have a team made up of Hoopa, Mega Lopunny, Heatran, Manaphy, I'm losing my words here, Zapdos, and Zygarde. Now, basically what I wanted to do was take two potential Pokemon that I might want to use for the Overuse Me series and test them both out on the same team and see which one ends up putting in more work. Two Pokemon that are viable uh, for the OU tier. A big problem that I found with Kingler was that there were too many Pokemon that did it the same way. Uh, too many water types that also got access to knockoff just like Kingler, such as Crawdont, Azumarill. You can even count Keldeo in there uh, because fighting plus uh, water pretty much accomplishes the same thing. So there was too much redundancy already in OU with that specific typing. However, with, with unique typings such as Zygards and uh, Hoopas, now there is Garchomp, so Zygarde you can kind of discount, but especially Hoopa with the Ghost and Psychic typing. It is a typing that has four, uh, sorry, two quad weaknesses, excuse me, but it still has some viability, and I'll show you guys what set I'm using. It's actually a set that MV used in one of his teams. It's a really cool set. It's uh, Salak, Magician with Shadow Ball, Focus Blast, Psy Shock, and Substitute. Now, this is pretty much Alakazam's coverage, but because of the Magician ability, and because of this staggering base 150 special attack, this thing can outspeed Torn and be stronger than regular Alakazam all at the same time. Uh, and it also has Stab Shadow Ball which makes it extremely difficult to switch into. 20% uh, chance to lower the, uh, the special defense. Focus Blast can also lower special defense. And Psy Shock, of course, hitting on the physical side. Pair that with a good Mega, like Megalopony, which actually resists uh, Dark and is immune to Ghost, uh, which are the two quad weaknesses that Hoopa has. And you get a pretty cool core going on here. I decided to pair it up with Heatran because I needed a Fairy Resist right off the bat, especially that we're using Zygarde here at the end. I'm using the Subcoil Zygarde set for this episode. We're also using a Physically Defensive Zapdos, and I decided that Calm Mind, Rain Dance, Manaphy might be a better idea than, um, than the Tail Glow set, just for unaware Pokemon, uh, such as uh, Clefable and, um, you know, your standard Clefable, Quagsire, that sort of thing, so... That's going to be it. Uh, let's hop into a game. Let's see how quickly we can get one. Hopefully pretty fast uh, because it is quite late and I am in the 1700s at this point. So there's not too many people in that rank playing. Uh, so what I'll do, guys, is I'll pause it. And uh, actually, before I do that, if you guys don't know what this series is yet, uh, if you didn't see the first episode where I actually explained what we're doing. Okay, cool. We get stall right off the bat. Awesome. Um, so we can test out this team against this. If you don't know what we're doing, we're trying to bring up a specific Pokemon into the OU tier by increasing its usage. I can't do this alone. I need your help. So by the end of the episode, when we decide which Pokemon we're ultimately going to go with, uh, and from the looks of things, it might be Zygarde because Zygarde sets up all over this man. Um, then at that point, we will... Uh, you guys are going to have to try to use it as much as po possible on the ladder and help me get that Pokemon to OU status. So if you can, if we can do it all together, then that would be crazy. Because if you can bring a Pokemon up to OU that's potentially either an RU or even BL, it doesn't really matter. Uh, that's, that's cool. That's really cool. Because you had a huge influence on the tiering system. So uh, here I say let's just lead with Lopunny. Lopunny is a solid lead. Uh, leads off well against the Mega Sableye. I can fake it out. Uh, also, uh, I can high jump kick it on, on the final, following turn. I can even just high jump kick it on the first turn, to be honest. Uh, just get off some solid damage on the Slowbro. I have decent switches to Slowbro, so it's not a huge deal. Um, and if he doesn't want to get off his Mega Evolution, I can then go into Heatran and get up my rocks for free. So uh, He can go into Dougie and Trap Me, but I am just going to go for the high jump kick. Uh, he's going to Mega Evolve. He's going to go for Confuse Ray. If I break through this, yeah, that's a dead Sableye. <laughs> Wow, alright, so we knock out Sableye turn 1, awesome. Alright, so we can get up Hazards, we do have to worry about Dugtrio, uh, but it's not too big of a deal. Now, now Zygarde just, wow. Zygarde just, there's no other words, just wow. <laughs> it does a lot of work. Uh, I can go into Hoopa because I do resist the uh, the, Psy uh, the Psy Shock, even though we have Pitiful Defense. Uh, we can definitely take that, no problem. And then we can even set up a sub, so... Uh, he's gonna go for Scald. Uh, he does get the Burn, unfortunately, and that is gonna eventually knock us into Salic. Uh, now, what I want to do is I actually want to steal the Chansey's Eviolite by hitting it. So that's going to be a very interesting uh, scenario if we can pull that off. Or even Leftovers from Clef wouldn't be bad, getting rid of those. So I am just going to sub up here. 
as he is going to go into Chansey. That's awesome. He can't actually hit us. So what we're going to do is turn one, we're going to Psy Shock. Uh, get off as much damage as possible. Just a nice little 28. He's going to get up rocks. So we can defog those later. And now we're going to get our Salic Berry. And we're going to steal his Eviolite by hitting him with Psy Shock. And now uh, it's basically a knockoff. So we just stole that. He's going to soft boiled. But he's not going to take the following Psy Shock as well. He's going to take about 50% from this if he stays in. So... It's going to be some nice damage. He, has, he is going to opt to switch out. Very nice play on my opponent's part. Slowbro is going to be a little bit of an issue, but not too bad, I think. Uh, and I think Manaphy can just set up and win now. <clears throat> it's probably on a work Fable. So we get to test out to see if this set is better. I probably want to switch out uh, Scald for Surf might be better. Uh, because the burn chance isn't as important as the power. So let's, um, let's go into Zapdos here, I think is fine. As we can just go for a Defog, get rid of these rocks, or we can even go for the Thunderbolt. Uh, but I think, <coughs> I feel like Defogging might be my best play. Sorry about all the, uh, uh, the phlegm, guys. My bad. Uh, I'm just going to T-Bolt here, actually, as we are going to knock out the Slowbro. Awesome, okay. So we can get rid of these rocks after, it's not a big deal. Uh, I'm kind of afraid of Clef at the moment, uh, just because it can technically set up on me. But he's going to choose to go into Gengar, which is absolutely fine. Uh, I could switch into Lopany here. But I don't gain much by that. So I think I'm just going to defog. He's going to go for Shadow Ball. It's going to do under half. Um, and I expect him to Sludge Wave, in all honesty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Heatran. Because uh, I'm pretty sure Heatran can take it. He actually goes for a Taunt. Uh, we are max HP, max speed. So we should be able to take any hit. I'm just going to go for a Plume here. As he's going to switch directly into, into his Doug Trio, uh, risking it getting burned, and that's exactly what happens. So now he's not going to be able to knock us out with an Earthquake right here. Uh, it's only going to do 60%. We're going to be able to knock out his Dougie. And um, with that thing gone, I mean, just like, I want to say Hoopa put in work this game because it got rid of the Eviolite. It's going to make it a lot easier to kill Chansey. But, like, I think the big star of the show is going to be Zygarde right here because basically I'm going to let my Heatran go down. And. Uh, we're actually not going to go down to that. We're going to get off a nice plume right there. And... Or maybe Lopany. I don't know. Um, we have a kind of a, a difficult situation against uh, Clef. Because if it starts setting up Calm Mines, we might be in trouble. Uh, then again, I mean, Earthquake is still going to be doing a decent amount to it. So let's just go for Plume. He's going to go for Shadow Ball. That's absolutely fine. We're going to go into our Lopany. And I'm just going to click Return because I'm already Mega Evolved, so I don't need to Fake Out. And it does the most damage to both uh, Chansey and Clefable, clearly. So now I can definitely see him going into Clef, no problem. We're just going to click Return right here. We are the Ice Punch variant, by the way, guys. Uh, as that is going to do a solid 60%, he's going to go for Calm Mind. That's not going to save him. I don't know how much defense he's running, but that did a lot more than even I expected. So uh, that's pretty much going to seal the game. Uh, so Zygarde not getting to come in here. But as you can see, like that could have definitely put in a lot of work. I just don't understand him sacking off his uh, his Sableye turn one just to confuse Raimi. Like that's that's kind of a 50-50. But anyway, uh, let's get another game. Let's see uh, what Zygarde and, and Hoopa can do. I think I've surrounded them pretty nicely. Uh, like if you look at my opponent's team, he's very Zapdos weak. Uh, I'm not carrying HP Ice, unfortunately. But I mean, just in general, like he doesn't appreciate Zapdos pre Zapdos's presence. Uh, he doesn't hit it very hard other than maybe with uh maybe like a, a life orb ice beam from starmie or uh a v create from victini that's about it really but i think i'm pretty safe to lead off here with um honestly just zapdos yeah that's fine he leads off with dragonite if he sets up on me it's not too big of a deal i do have fake out pressure uh and if he's adamant then we're faster after uh after 1 DD, so I am just going to T-Bolt here. He might just opt to set up turn 1. Uh, good news is that we always have the chance to burn him with uh, Manaphy. He's actually going to go for Ice Beam. What the heck is this thing? Alright, uh, we do get the Para, so that's very unfortunate for my opponent, as we will now be faster and be able to Roost right here. <laughs> wow, uh, that was a lucky turn of events for us. We are going to Roost, we are going to be back up to full. I can totally see this thing going for Rocks right here. I don't really want to risk my Zapdos. I think I'd much rather switch out into Manaphy. I put Manaphy on this team specifically for Landorus because at the time I didn't have anything for it. He is going to go for Rocks. Uh, and I think I'm pretty safe to just click Surf here. 
as he's probably not going to want to stay in. We are faster than a defensive Lando, and uh, we are not going to do enough to it, but it's fine. He's just going to U-turn out, and uh, his Lando is extremely weakened now. It's in range of Ice Punch, so that's always nice, as he is going to go into Lopany. So Lopany is a little bit of an issue, uh, not something that I can deal with too, too well, but we are physically defensive, so we should be able to take Fake Out into, uh, into High Jump Kick from this thing. So I'm just going to click Surf. We'll see what he wants to do. He does click Fake Out. That does a pitiful 14%. Uh, so after, uh, let's see, 14. Base 130 means that it's uh, about 4.3 4 times the damage. So he would be doing about 40. No, he'd be doing about 52 to us, right? That's a little bit too much for comfort. I don't like that at all. I think I'm just going to Surf this. As he's going to go for HJK. So it does 48. Uh, about what we expected. A little bit of a lower roll than than I thought, but uh, I can't really switch out on this. That's that's the issue, because if I bring in Zapdos, he goes for high jump kick. He might knock me out with the return on the following turn, so I can't really uh, can't really play around with stuff like that. Um, now I kind of did want to keep Manaphy specifically for the Clefable, because uh, I can set up on it, but I don't know if it's worth it. Zygarde being weak to ice really doesn't help right here. Like, we're very Lopany weak. Uh, I don't really want to switch in Hoopa. I mean, Hoopa resists. Does Hoopa take a high jump kick? Because then we'll be in Salic. And he, he won't know... Well, he'll know that he's still... Yeah, he's still faster than us. But I just want to calc this just to find out. Uh, does Hoopa... Uh, does Hoopa take Lopany's hit? Not Hoopa's. Um, All-out attacker... Yeah, high jump kick only does 54 to 64, so that's uh, that's actually technically a switch. But I think I'm just going to... I'm going to go into Zapdos here, see what he wants to do. Uh, as he is going to click high jump kick again, that's going to do 31%. That's resisted, uh, but it's a little bit stronger than return. 30 points stronger to be exact. So if it wasn't resisted, it would have done 60. Uh, so I don't think his return kills us. I'm just going to go for a Roost, uh, on the off chance he doesn't kill us, uh, as he does, okay. Alright, that's fine. Uh, what I can do here is I can just go into my own Lopany, and I'm just going to click Fake Out. If he wants to go into his uh, Lando, that's absolutely fine. I'm glad I kept Manaphy, because now I can uh, I can heal back up, basically, be able to take uh, another one of Lopany's hits later. Uh, we are just going to get off this Fake Out. He is indeed Rocky Helmet. And do I want to go into Zygarde and try to set up now? I kind of do. Uh, it's a difficult situation. It's difficult to tell. Because I don't want to be lower than his Lopany, basically. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, right? So I'm just going to go for uh, for an Ice Punch right here. It's not going to do much to this Starmie. I probably should have just gone for Return because it would have been able to knock him out. I think. 20%? Uh, yeah, it definitely would have been able to knock him out. So my safest switch here is actually Hoopa. Because Hoopa has a huge special defense stat, guys. If you didn't know, check it out right here. 130. So I can definitely take any hit from this Starmie. I don't know if he's going to want to double out into his Lopany. Uh, it kind of makes sense. But we're uh, I'm just going to play off of this. I'm thinking he's offensive because he doesn't have leftovers. So we'll see what he does here. Uh, he just goes for T-Wave, actually. Okay, that's fine. So I got a couple of plays. Uh, I can either sub... Uh, I can Psy Shock predicting the Lopany. Or I can Shadow Ball and try to knock out this Starmie. So I think I'm going to sub as my opponent chooses to go out into D-Knight. Okay. Um, we know that we're, we're slower than this because, well, maybe not because Zapdos was outsped, but that doesn't mean that this is necessarily outsped. I'm just going to go for Psy Shock. And uh, good news is that he's para and he might even give us a chance to set up with, uh, with Zygarde. Which would be awesome. I would have really liked getting rocks up a little bit earlier. This game would have definitely helped. This team is very colorful though. I like that. Look at that. Yellow, red, blue, green, pink, brown. Uh, we are going to get this Psy Shock off, which is very nice. Uh, we do see that he is faster than us. Um, but I also do not anticipate him to click Earthquake right here if he has it. So I'm just going to switch out into Heatran. He's going to get Parrot again. Very unfortunate for our opponent. I'm just going to get up rocks here. Uh, rocks are going to kill the Dragonite if it wants to switch back in. Uh, also, uh, it's going to hinder the Victini from switching in a million times over. Lando's going to die to two switch-ins, 
And that also just means that Lopany can't come in as often, which is the same situation as our, our own Lopany, so... I think it's looking okay. Uh, we should be faster than this D-Knight, clearly, because he's paralyzed. And uh, we will get up rocks. He will go for superpower. He will not be able to knock us out. And uh, I'm pretty sure... I don't actually want to knock this out right here. Because with his lowered attack... Well, he has Ice Beam. He has Ice Beam. Never mind. I was going to say that um, Zygarde could set up on this, but it can't because he has Ice Beam. So I'm just going to go for Plume. Uh, he's going to go for T-Bolt. Uh, he's actually not going to knock us out with that T-Bolt, so I think he's regretting that right about now. Uh, and we're just going to go for another Plume. If he switches into Starmie, I'll probably just uh, spam Rocks uh, because... Obviously, Rapid Spin's not going to be doing anything to me. And then I can just go into Lopany, Fake Out, and Return. Fake Out might be able to knock out Lando when it comes in. So that's something to note. And uh, what do I need Gone to set up with Zygarde? That is the question. He's going to go into Starmie, like I said before. I'm just going to spam Rocks. We're just going to spam Stealth Rocks right here. Uh, he does not seem to be Life Orb either, though. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I'm just going to keep clicking Stealth Rocks. Like I said, I want them up. He's going to go for Scald. That's absolutely fine. Uh, we'll go into... He's Thunder Wave Rapid Spin Scald. Which means if he doesn't burn Zygarde, I set up on him. So that this could be my opportunity right here. When else am I going to be able to do this? On his Lando? Not really. Definitely not on his Lopany. It's got Ice Punch. Well, it could. I don't expect Starmie's last move to be Ice Beam. So I'm going to go into Zygarde. And uh, we're going to click Sub because Scald doesn't break a Sub. So we'll go, uh, hopefully, we'll go off no burn. If he doesn't get a burn, then we're good to go. We should be able to win this game if he doesn't get a burn. He might not even want to stay in here just because it's uh, not in his best interest if he doesn't have anything to hit me. Uh, it's not a good idea to go for a 30% chance to lose. So don't make those kinds of plays, guys. Like in his situation, his best play is probably just to go into Lopney because it's healthy enough uh, to take... Okay, well, he crits the Scald. Luckily, does not burn. Uh, and you saw how much a crit Scald did. So I'm going to go for Coil. Uh, his Scald is going to crit again. All right. Awesome. Not. Uh... All right, let's go for sub again. He's going to Scald. Please don't burn me. All right, cool. Awesome. And now we are going to click... I think Earthquake should be able to knock him out from here. Let's just see. Starmie. Uh, utility versus Zygarde. Uh, at plus one. Earthquake at plus one. Is not enough if he's fully HP invested, which he very much could be. I'm just going to go for a... Dragon Tail right here. We'll see what he wants to do. Uh, he's not going to get a crit this time, luckily. Uh, and we are going to Dragon Tail his Starmie out of here. So let me just see that damage really quickly. From Dragon Tail, 34 to 40. Uh, yeah, he's definitely HP invested. As what I want to do here is, I think, just Earthquake this Lopany, honestly. Because if it's not HP invested, Mega Lopany, um, Earthquake does knock it out. So then we just need to deal with the uh, Clefable, but like I said, I have a Manaphy, so I do want to knock out this Lopany early. He's going to go into Lando, uh, but that's not actually going to be able to intimidate me. Uh, and I think I'm just going to go for another Coil right here, uh, as we are actually faster than his Lando, which is really cool. He's going to go for Earthquake. It is going to fade the sub, but remember we got hit by a Scald earlier. So there's a very good chance that, actually I want to calc this, plus two defense from a defensive Landorus T. Earthquake is doing 15 to 18, so it's not worth subbing, but it is, I think, worth coiling again, because 15 to 18, and then he's only doing 12 to 14, uh, or maybe just Dragon Tail is my play. I don't know, I'm very low on health because he crit that second Scald. I'm, I'm like, very grateful for the fact that he didn't get a burn, but still, let's see. Uh, plus 2, we said 15 to 18, which means if he gets a, a mid-roll of about 17, and I recover 6%, I only take 11%, and yeah, I can coil again, actually, for sure. And the fact that I'm faster, 
His Earthquake is only going to be doing 14 right here. And now I can, I think, Coil again. Uh, and I should be able to... Hold on a second. Let me think about this. Okay, so... Um, at plus 3... I know this is a little bit of a longer game, guys, but I have to think this out. At plus 3, his Earthquake is only doing 12 to 14. So if he does 13% to me like he just did, then I'll be at 20, and I'll be able to sub up on the following turn. Uh, so yeah, I think I do... Yeah, because then I, I'm, and again, I'm faster than him, so his Earthquake is going to do even less this time. So I'm playing with crits, but basically I just want to be behind a sub. So I'm going to Coil again, as he is going to Earthquake again. He's going to get a 12% right there, and I'm going to... Yeah, that's a high roll on that. So he needs two absolute max rolls to knock out my... Is he Rocky Helmet, though? Oh, hold on a second. Wait a minute, I think we just messed up. Um... Yeah, because now we're not going to be healthy enough to take the Rocky Helmet hit. Ah, oh, that sucks. I think I messed up, guys. Alright, well, I think I'm just going to keep clicking Coil. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to Coil again. And we'll see what he wants to do. If he switches out, then his Lando's dead. So, it's not a big deal. We'll just Coil here. Uh, as he does go for another EQ, does 10%. Uh, like I said before, I can't attack this thing or he will knock me out with the Rocky Helmet. I'm just going to go for one more coil, go up to full. Plus 6, plus 6. Uh, Earthquake is still doing 10%, unfortunately. And I don't think I have a choice at this point. <laughs> that was a waste of time. Uh, I'm just going to go for the... Uh, I could go for EQ and hope he gets like absolute minerals. Because at plus 6, he should be doing 8 to 9. Why is he doing 10 Huh, he did 9.6 on that one, so he has a little bit of attack investment, actually. Uh, he still has that Rocky Helmet, so I am going to die right here. Yeah, I'm just going to go for Dragon Tail, it's fine. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to knock out the Lando, we're going to lose our Zygarde in the process. So, I mean, had he not crit that second Scald, we would have been able to go up to Max Max there, and just knock out his entire team. Uh, but now I'm kind of forced into a situation where I need to go into Lopany, unfortunately. Um, and if he brings in Clefable, then I guess I just fake out, uh, and switch out into either Manaphy or, uh, into Hoopa. He does go Clefable, he does not take rock damage, so we know he is Magigard. We're just gonna fake out here. He's actually gonna switch out into Starmie, okay. Uh, interesting. He's gonna get knocked out, which is even more interesting. And Hoopa, like I said before, has amazing Spudef, so we'll be able to go into this. Uh, as he goes for Moonblast. Okay, you are Life Orb, whoa! Yeah, you're definitely Life Orb. Um, which means... Okay. So basically, what I need to do here is I think I need to... Well, I'm Salic. I'm not... Uh, I'm not Custap. I was thinking Custap Barry. Okay, yeah, I can't do that. I need to uh, just stay in. He's definitely Life Orb. 47%. Um, Hold on a second. Is that Specs? Like, that did a lot. Offensive Trick Room versus Clefable. So, Standard does 25 to 30. Life Orb. Life Orb does 33 to 40. So, and he did 47. So, unless he's max special attack. Okay, so I think he's max special attack. So I don't think Manaphy lives. This is the problem. Manaphy. Oh, you tail glow plus three attacks. Um, Moonblast does, yeah, it does 48 to 56. I, I definitely don't live that. Okay. Well, we're going to have to go into Lopany. Uh, good news is he probably doesn't have any HP investment. And that's probably why he switched earlier. So we can say that he is a modest uh, Clefable. And, uh, well, maybe not modest. I could be. Um... Yeah, I think we're just going to go for Fake Out. I think he has to switch. I think he actually has to switch. Now, the thing is, if I went for a Return and he switched into Victini, he might still lose this. So he has to be very careful. Uh, it's a shame. I kind of expected the Clefable to be a little bit more defensive. But I should have known by the makeup of his team, like, that super offensive Dragonite at the beginning. Like, this is a very strange team, so... I mean, he's very good. His My opponent is very innovative with his sets. I can't say anything bad about him. 
Uh, but he is going to go Victini. Uh, and he is going to take that 21% from Fake Out. Uh, which means I don't think Return kills. 40-40. Uh, oh, I might. Hold on. Uh, I'd need a high roll on Return for it to kill. So, he is actually Scarfed. This might be good for us, though. Yeah, this might be really good for us. I'm going to... Because he's going to lose more speed, right? So, at the moment, he's still faster than us. But I don't think a V-Create kills from a Victini. Let me just see how much his Moonblast does to Manaphy. Uh, it does a lot. But at plus one, we should be able to take it if he allows me to get leftovers. Victini... Uh, OU choice band, but take off this choice band. V create at minus one. Let's say he's adamant, for example, and he's at minus one attack. Uh, he doesn't lose attack, right? No, he loses. No, he doesn't. So he has to be. Whoops. Take that off. Um, but we're not even this Manaphy set. Hold on. Manaphy. Oh, hold on. We might be able to do this. Um, what is it? Tail will plus Rain Dance, or is it? Oh, you call mind. There it is. Uh, v Create does not knock us out, so I'm gonna go for the Rain Dance here, as now he's actually slower than us because of that. He's actually slower than us, or at least he should be, in theory. Uh, but either way, his V Create doesn't knock us out anymore. So I'm just going to rest, as he is going to make a switch out into Clefable. I should be faster than this, so I'm going to start Calm Minding on it. As he is going to reveal no T-Bolt. Okay, so I think we're going to come out on top here, guys. I'm going to go for another Calm Mind. And he's going to go for a Calm Mind of his own. But I'm in the rain. And you don't seem to be very defensive, my friend. So I'm just going to surf here. I'm going to do 55% of this Clefable. And we are going to Rain Dance again. Calm Mind. Just Calm Mind. Just Calm Mind. Yeah, that's fine. He's going to go for a Moonblast and he's going to crit us. Alright, so that was a little bit of a waste of time because uh, my opponent decided to crit every move that mattered. But uh, we'll move on to the next game. I mean, we definitely had that locked up, especially at the end there. Like, I, I could have won that easily. But unfortunately, uh, this is Pokemon. <laughs> so it's the game that we have to put up with. I'm going to get one more uh, and it'll be a lot quicker than that one. That was a very, very long game. But uh, I think we played to the best of what we could. Uh, unfortunately, Zapdos was not able to take the high jump kick into, um, into return either from Lopany, so a little unfortunate there. Uh, glad I kept Heatran alive, though. Very glad I kept Heatran alive because it was able to take down the D-Knight thanks to some Paras. Alright, so we're gonna get a nice Baton Pass team. This is a little bit obnoxious. Um, very, very obnoxious. What I'm gonna do is actually lead with, um, I don't wanna lead with Lopany because it's... Actually, Zygarde's my best lead. Yeah, Zygarde by far is my best lead. Uh, as he leads off with Suicune. Okay. So, I'm going to switch out immediately into Manaphy, I think. Yeah, I think Manaphy is my play. Because... Hmm. Maybe it's Hoopa. No, I'm going to go Manaphy. Because I just want to scout for the Ice Beam, as he's actually going to sub, okay? Well, I can call mine up alongside you, if you'd like. It's, uh, it's very doable. As he's going to sub, interesting, he's going to Scald me here. Uh, that's not going to do anything. I'm going to go for a Surf, just to gauge the damage, uh, to see if we can actually break the sub here. Uh, it, we cannot, not yet anyway. And he's just going to keep Scalding. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go for Rain Dance right here. His Scald is going to be doing a little bit more every turn, but... I mean, just the fact of us not being burned is already amazing. Uh, he's going to go for his own Calm Mind. That's fine. We're going to Calm Mind up alongside him. Now, the problem here is that... Well, he doesn't have Rest, right? So as soon as we're able to... And we do have Rest. Like, if he has Rest, he doesn't have Sleep Talk, basically. So... Yes, we have to Rain Dance, but he also has to Rest. So we're just going to keep Calm Mining up alongside him. As long as one of us doesn't crit each other, we're going to be in, a, in an all-out war here. Uh, does he not have pressure? Yeah, of course he has pressure. What am I talking about? Just going to keep going for Calm Mind. So is he. And uh, we'll just keep doing that. I'm really curious to see. What if he has Roar? 
That could be really bad. Uh, just in case he does, <laughs> I'm gonna go for Surf right here to break his sub. I'm gonna get a crit right there. Is he's gonna go for another Calm Mind? That's absolutely fine. Uh, I'm just gonna go for another one of my own. As he is going to set up another sub. Not a big deal. Unless, of course, like I said, he is uh, a Roar variant. Uh, he goes for Scald, though, so that's fine. That only does 11%. He does burn us again, though. And I'm gonna set up a Rain Dance. And I'm not sure if I can stall this thing out necessarily. Because it is pressure. Um, but he has to use more Scalds, I think. Then I have to use Surfs. We're only down to four Rain Dances, so I have to be extremely careful about how I approach this. Um, let's see if we can knock out his sub. He's gonna go- okay, his last move is Protect. Okay, so he's definitely like a, a fully stally set. Alright, um... How do I deal with this? I need to be out of the rain and get in with Zygarde and Dragon Tail him out. Uh, let's go for rest right here. Let's see what he wants to do. Uh, hopefully we have enough PP to stall him out of Scalds. That would be cool. Let's go for Calm Mind here. Even though it doesn't do anything, this might be a very, very long game, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, uh, he's just gonna fire off another Scald. So basically what I'm trying to do is stall him out of Scalds. He's got 18 left. Uh, I've got 12. I might not be able to. We'll see. Um, but I can also just rest without having to rain dance, and that'll actually keep me asleep. That's a good thing. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna call mine here, uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rest without rain dancing. I think is my play. Is he getting pressure behind the sub? Because I only used one rest. I don't think he is. Let me just see. I was at 24 call mines, I think. Yeah, now I'm at 23. He's not getting pressure behind the sub. That's that's really cool to know. That's awesome. Dude, we might just be able to sweep my opponent with this set. If we just leave him behind a sub and we make him waste all his PP, basically. I'm going to rest right here. Uh, outside of the rain, like I said before. And because we are physically defensive, uh, it's not okay. That kind of sucks. Um, if he gets another one of those, that could be very bad. Why does it have to be on the turn that I rest? He's going to go into Dougie, though. All right. That is the second turn that I'm asleep, I believe. Or is that the first? Um, rest, Scald. Uh, yeah, no, that was the first. Alright, so we gotta take two EQs right here. He's gonna go for the first one. It's only gonna do 24, so we are gonna be able to rest off all this damage. Which is very nice. Uh, and now that his Suicune switched out... <laughs> oh man. I don't know if that was the play, bro. Okay, good. He doesn't crit us. We're able to get up this rest, and now we got just gotta uh, kill off two more turns right here. I'm gonna spam Surf, because if he wants to switch back into Suicune, that's fine. He's gonna go to Hera. Um, what I can do... Hmm. Does Heracross 2 hit KO me? I don't think it does. Heracross... Let's see. Heracross... Um, Mega. Bulky Wallbreaker... 47 of 56, so that has a 28.9% chance to hit KO after Leftover's recovery. Alright, well what I can do is I can stay in on the first turn, as he goes for a pin missile, so this is actually going to do a little bit more than his close combat. Uh, and then what I can do is I can switch out into my Zapdos, because I know I'm waking up the next time. So yeah, I'll just go into Zap here. I can even go into Zygarde, honestly. But I'm going to go into Zapdos because it's the safest play. As he is going to go for a close combat right there. Awesome. Uh, he does get the drops, of course. And if we are faster than this thing, then we will be able to fire off a heat wave right here. And his Doug Trio is going to come in. Awesome. So it's going to have to take a huge heat wave. And uh, I'm expecting the uh, Stone Edge. So what I'll do is I'll switch into Manaphy here on the Stone Edge. Uh, as he goes for rocks, actually. Okay, interesting. And uh, I think I'm just going to Surf. Or, no, I'm gonna Rain Dance. He's gonna Memento, okay. That's fine, he's gonna lower my attack and my special attack, but I'm gonna Rain Dance, which means that now I can heal up. Um, this also means, though, that his Heracross can come in and knock me out with a Pin Missile, potentially. But we'll see. Uh, I can't switch into... Hoopa, I'll die. He goes into Scallopede. Okay. I'm not really sure why. 
because this is just a free call mine for me as he goes for a sub okay now I have to use a lot of call mines to get back up to where I was before but I think if I just keep call minding here I should be okay because this thing doesn't typically carry swords dance on this sort of team he's gonna go into Heracross I'm gonna call mind again and I'm just gonna go for the surf because again I can just rest later He's gonna go for Swords Dance, okay, it's a little bit scary. Uh, yeah, no, definitely a, a very scary. <laughs> Alright, so what do I do here? Do I sack off Zapdos, or do I sack off Heatran? Because Heatran doesn't do anything, it actually just loses to everything. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Tran, because Rain's about to end, and uh, I was hoping he'd go for Pin Missile, but anyway, that's, that's okay. Uh, he is plus speed, I just realized. Uh, and plus two attack. I don't know if he can necessarily knock out Zygarde from where I'm at. Uh, but he does have the the whole shebang, pin missile, close combat, and rock blast. So how do I deal with this? Do I just bank on Zygarde living? Mega Heracross versus Zygarde. Subcoil. Oh, no, I don't live. I do not live. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um... So what do I do here? I can't switch in Hoopa enough times. I gotta go into Lopany. And I gotta just click fake out. Repeatedly. That's all I can do. He doesn't have sub luckily, so that's that's one thing. At least. Um, but if he's like min speed. If he's okay, we crit that one, which is nice. Um if he's absolute min speed, then oh, I should have gone for surf. Then Lopany might be able to outspeed him actually because like if he hits for example How much is he at at 252? 249 what's 249 times 1.5? 249 times 1.5 means he's at 373 if a crit fake out did that much that's base 60 I'm not confident that I'm gonna be able to take him out here What do I need to win? I think I just need Zygarde like, Zygarde actually just wins this entire game. Like, once I get up enough coils. So, I'm going to get rid of Zapdos here. I'm going to sack it off to his, uh, hopefully, yeah, close combat. Awesome. Okay. So, now he's minus one defense. I'm going to go into Lopany. And I should outspeed him unless he's Jolly. Right? Jolly hits 273. So, he would be able to outspeed me at that point. Now, the good news is... His uh, Suicune is not like the super scary set. Uh, his Scallopede can't hit me back. Uh, he does go into Suicune. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go directly into Hoopa on this thing. I need to keep Lopany. Lopany needs to stay alive. He's going to go for Scald. Hopefully no burn. Uh, as he doesn't get it. Awesome. And uh, how much did that do? 24? Yeah, I'm definitely just going for Sub. As he's going to go for a, another Scald. He does not break our sub, which is awesome. We are going to go for a Shadow Ball here. Because uh, it does have the chance to spit F drop. He's going to go for another Scald. And now I'm going to get the Salic Berry. Which also means that I steal his leftovers. Which is amazing. That's actually amazing. Uh, we're going to get the Salic. He's going to go for Calm Mind. That's fine. I'm going to go for Psy Shock. I'm just going to start Psy Shocking this thing. Going to steal its leftovers. He goes for Protect. That's fine. I'm just going to Psy Shock again. He can't really do anything to me. I'm, I'm going to get like two Psy Shocks off guaranteed. It's going to do 26, so not too much. But I am going to steal his leftovers. That's the important thing to note. That I have his leftovers now. So I'm just going to go for Psy Shock. There's no point in him protecting, which is cool. He's going to go for another Skull. That is obviously going to knock us out. But now I can go back into Lopany. And Lopany is threatening again. And without his boosts, like... The fact that he keeps switching out and getting rid of the scary boosts that he has is really, really nice. So Psyshock did 26. Uh, that's coming off of 399 attack, but it's a base 80 move. So I assume that Lopany's return is going to be able to kill because it's coming off of 371 attack, but it's base 102. So he's going to go for Protect. That's not going to do anything. I can just go for another return. Uh, I guess he expected High Jump Kick. Uh, yeah, but Return's definitely going to be able to kill right there. That's good. Alright, so we're down to three Pokemon. 
Hoopa put in work. It was able to steal Suicune's leftovers and knock it out, which is awesome. Kind of what it did in the first game. But Espeon's actually going to come in here. Now, Espeon's a little bit of a threat. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I can definitely just attack here. Hmm. Do I want to just switch out into Manaphy? Uh, he already mementoed, so that's not going to happen again, which is a good thing. I kind of st still need Lopany, though. Like, just for the fake-out pressure on his Heracross. That's the big thing. But you know what? It's going to be now or never. I'm going to return. We're going to knock this thing down to 40%. He's going to go for the Dazzling Gleam. It's actually not going to be able to knock us out, which is really nice. As that just means that I get another free return off. If he has Protect on this thing, it doesn't really matter. He's going to go into Gliscor. We do have Ice Punch. So that's exactly what I'm going to click. Just just Ice Punch this thing. Uh, and if his Scallopede doesn't have an attacking move, then I always get off an attack. On whatever he bat uh, Baton passes into. I'm just going to spam return against that thing. Like, if you want to sit in here and go for protect and sub and protect and sub, like, be my guest. But I'm always, always, always clicking return. No matter what. Because it does enough damage to the Heracross to the point where I can prevent him. Okay, he does have Mega Horn. Okay. But that's fine because now I can go into Zygarde. Now we can go into Zygarde and now we can sub up. Because with the coils, he won't be able to do enough damage to us. He's going to go for a sub, uh, and now we're going to start coiling. If he passes this into Heracross on the first turn, I'm going to Dragon Tail to break his sub. Actually, I should probably do that now. Now that I'm thinking about it. Hold on. Do I actually break Mega Heracross's substitute with Zygarde's uh, Dragon Tail? No, it only does 16 to 19, so I have to coil first. He's going to go for a Baton Pass. That's absolutely fine. Um, good news is that at plus one defense against his plus two pin missile, um, he doesn't knock us out. So, well, after the leftovers, he doesn't knock us out. So we should be okay. Um, we'll see though. He's going to go into Espeon though. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I mean, Dazzling Gleam is going to hurt. But now that he didn't go into Heracross, this is a really long live. Um, how much does Espeon do to me? It's Leftovers. Calm Mind Sweeper. Dazzling Gleam. Leftovers. 32 to 38. That's nothing. I'm just gonna EQ here. He's gonna be able to break my sub, but I'm gonna be able to break his. Easily. Yeah. And now with the plus one against his Heracross? I don't think we die. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, Mega Heracross. With plus one defense, we don't, we don't go down after this Dazzling Gleam. So we can even Dragon Tail that thing out. Yeah, and that's definitely my play. Um, in fact, I might want to Dragon Tail here. Does that knock out Espeon? Espeon. Uh, Calm Mind Sweeper. Dragon Tail doesn't do enough. Uh, Earthquake does. So I'm definitely just clicking EQ. He does just go for the Dazzling Gleam. It's only going to do 27. So I think he got a Min Roll there. Uh, but we also get a Min Roll. Uh, he has a lot of bulk investment, apparently. And that could be detrimental right there unless he gets another one of those low rolls because then we would be able to le live Heracross's pin missile I think uh, potentially potentially all right I think I need to knock this out regardless Ugh. the thing is if Manaphy doesn't have rain up it's not gonna knock out the Heracross that's what I'm scared about yeah, I have to go for uh, I have to go for an EQ. I don't have a choice. He's gonna get a 30 roll right there, which means that his Heracross is gonna be able to knock us out. Now I haven't shown Dragon Tail yet, but he should figure that I have it. So his play should be into Mega Heracross and just attack me. Um, now if he makes the mistake of going for close combat, um, he's not he's gonna potentially not knock us out, and I'm gonna be able to Dragon Tail him out here. Oh my God, he just went for Swords Dance. All right, well, that's pretty much game. Uh, I'm just going to coil because I don't have a reason not to. He can go for sub, but I'm just going to EQ on the following turn. And I think a plus two EQ is able to knock out Heracross's sub. He goes for Megahorn. Uh, he actually gets 18% off on me. Wow. All right. Um, that's a little bit scary. I, I didn't expect that much from this thing. I'm just going to go for EQ here. He's going to miss the Megahorn. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Alright, so that was a little bit of luck in our favor, uh, but I didn't knock him out with the EQ. 
Once again, I just missed out on the roll. So that's, again, a little bit annoying. We are plus two, plus two. Uh, his Mega Horn did, what, 18? So I can sub. I can sub up on him. And then EQ again. And then... And then my Dragon Tail kills his Heracross, right? I think. Right? <laughs> Hold on. Um... No. Okay, I'm gonna EQ. He's gonna land that Mega Horn. Uh, now we're plus two, plus two. So, again, if he makes the mistake of clicking close combat, he might not knock me out. He might not even knock me out with a pin missile, honestly. Uh, but I'm just going to click Dragon Tail, I think. Uh, and hope for a crit. Yeah, I think that's like literally my only play. It's just Dragon Tail and hope for a crit. He's gonna go for close combat, actually. So he gives us the game. Because we already know the pin missile doesn't knock us out. We saw that like at the very beginning of the game. This is a 45 minute live. I'm so sorry guys. It's only got three games, but it's just super long. Especially with this team at the end here. When did he go for pin missile on me? 11, 11, uh, 12, 12, 12. Yeah, so he shouldn't knock me out and I should knock him out with a surf now. Because of that. As long as he doesn't get a crit on any of the pin missiles. We should be good. And even one, I think we'd be okay. So yeah, we just surf here, and we're actually faster than his Heracross, so we're able to take that last game. <clears throat> Zygarde actually putting in a lot of work, but I feel like my opponent misplayed there quite a bit. Uh, so you know what? I'm actually going to leave it up to you guys. If you made it this far in the episode, thank you so much. Uh, hit that like button down below for me if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already, if this is your first time on the channel. Uh, but this is the Overuse Me series, so I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Hoopa or Zygarde? Which one are we taking to OU. I'm going to leave a straw poll in the description down below so that we don't have to go through comments and I'm going to be announcing it on Friday which Pokemon we're ultimately going to be using and I'm going to create a new set for it and we're going to try to use it as often as possible in the latter. Hopefully get some faster games because these were ridiculous. Uh, like 15 minute games, I, I, I just don't like playing these games in general. So that's going to be it guys. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.